Hey guys, it's Jayla Janine here, and today I will be bringing to you a soft daytime smoky makeup look. So first thing first, I'll be taking my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer to mattify my skin. Um, I use this all over my face for my oily skin. Next, I'll be using my flat brush from BH Cosmetics and my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Foundation in Neutral Beige. And then spreading my Urban Decay setting spray on my brush so it could help my foundation move all over my face more. And then blending everything in. Notice I use a stippling motion so I could like really let that sit on my face. Next, I'll be taking my Beauty Blender from Forever 21 and just making sure my foundation is more blended out. Um, I just use it all over my neck, my face, just to make sure everything matches. Now, I do blend for a long time, so let me just speed this up a little bit. Alright, next I'll be doing my eyebrows. I do take a very long time to do my eyebrows, but this is a Purple's NYX um, waterline pencil. I use it to outline my brows and then I fill it in with a purple eyeshadow. Um, and then I clean it up with the LA Girl Concealer. I'm not sure why it's coming up blue on camera, but yeah, it's purple. And then I also let my foundation dry up and then I layer a second layer for it because I do like my foundation medium to full coverage. Plus I do have troubled skin, mainly acne scars. Next I'm taking my LA Girl Concealer and I'm doing a triangular motion under my eyes and then putting it down my nose, my forehead, my upper lip, to the sides of my mouth and my chin and then blend that out with a beauty blender. Alright, so right after I blend all of that out, I go back in with my foundation brush to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now you see the coverage. Keep blending, 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 blend as much as you want, as long as you want. Next, I'm taking the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Translucent. And then I'll be putting it under my eye and all over my face. I like to put the beauty blender and blend it out under my eye to make sure I have no creases and then set it right away. So I put it under my eyes, my nose, above my lip, on the sides of my mouth because that's where I get the happy, li the happy lines when you smile. Next, I take whatever powder is left on my sponge and put it over my eyes to make sure it's set in place. Right now, at this moment, I wasn't really sure of what I look to do, so I just went with whatever. So this is the L'Oreal palette, Nude 1. And these are my transition colors. Next, I'm taking shade 2 in the palette for my brow bone highlight. Okay, so that's shade number 2 for your brow bone highlight in the Nude 1 palette. 
and shade 3 and 5 for your trans transition color. Then I'm taking shade 6, putting it on my lid as close to my lash line as possible and then blend out whatever is left on your brush to the top going towards your crease. Then get in the blending brush and clean it up. Make sure everything is nice and cleaned. Add more product if you want it a bit darker. All right, so I'm satisfied with that. Next, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner and putting it in my tight line. And then I'm lining very close to my lash line and then I'll blend it out with an angled brush to give it kind of that smoky liner effect. Now I do recommend Smolder Eyeliner by MAC. Um, it's more easy, it's meant to smudge so it's way easier than the Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs pencil liner is better for just your waterline. So when you're smudging the liner, make sure it goes into like a cat eye motion. Add more product if needed. I took a black shadow from BH Cosmetics 60s palette. Then I blend it out again one more time until I'm satisfied. Then I'm taking my NYX black liquid eyeliner. I'm not doing a cat eye, just lining near my lash line. Then I'm taking the Best Extreme Lash, it's, from, it's a drugstore product, mascara, I believe it's from L'Oreal as well. Then I'm taking shade 3 and 6 and putting it on my lower lash line and making sure the lower lash line eyeshadow connects to the top lash shadow. Taking that same dark shadow from BH Cosmetics 60s palette and putting it right on top of the transition colors. Putting more of the Marc Jacobs liner into my waterline and then adding more mascara. Add as much as possible to your lower lashes because we will be wearing falsies. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetic Brush and my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW22 and dusting off all the translucent powder and putting that all over my face. Then I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match in shade N7 for my contour shade. Make sure you put it on your cheekbones, your forehead. If you have a big forehead like me, I kind of like to go heavy. Put it under your jawline and also use it to contour your nose. When blending my contour and blush or anything at all, I like to use circular motions. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
I'll try to slow it down so you could see it more. Then I'm using my angle fluffy brush to contour my nose. If you have a big nose like me, then you kind of want to slim it down a bit to match the rest of your face. Because I do have a round and fat face, so slimming it down is always best. Alright, that's the finished result. Next, I'm taking BH Cosmetics Glamour Brush. Blush, blush. I'm taking a nude and also a shimmery shade. And here I show you the circular motion I use for my cheeks and also put it on the tip of my nose. Alright, let me speed this up a bit. Next, I'm taking my current favorite lashes from Violet Voss. After it's applied, I like to go back with my NYX liquid eyeliner to hide the lash band and then set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray. I believe it's the all nighter Urban, De I mean, excuse me, long lasting oil free setting spray. And I always like to go in with my MAC highlighter, soft and gentle after I set it because as you can see, it does come a bit stronger than when it's dry. Put it on my cheekbones, my eyebrow bone, my upper lip, the tip of my nose, and on my forehead. Then I'm lining my lip with the MAC Oak Lip Liner. This is my favorite lip liner. It's like a nude brown. It's really good for any lipstick, honestly. Next, I'm taking Taupe by MAC and also Myth by MAC as my lipstick. I just put Myth over taupe a little bit so I can lighten it up. Then I get tissue to make it more matte. I blot and put my finger in my mouth to make sure no lipstick goes on my teeth. Alright, and here is the finished product. Like, share, subscribe if you like this video. And comment down below what you would like to see next. Bye!